I had to bring this operation outside because this is going to be a messy part of this process. So I'm going to spill wine on the ground and, and other things. I don't want to ruin my tile or carpeting in my house. So I'm out in my garage. So what I have here is the equipment I'm going to be using today. I got my three tubs of my grapes and the uh, juice on the skins. I got miscellaneous containers for uh, for for holding the uh, wine. So six and a half gallon carboy, a one gallon jug, a half gallon jug, a quart jug or jar, or make sure I can top them all up. I got um, my sanitizer solution down there with some airlocks and spoons and hoses and things. And I have a couple working buckets to use and some nylon mesh straining bags, which is gonna be my key to doing my press, which I, since I do not have a natural press, I use bags instead. So let's get started. All right, now let's get started on this. I'm gonna start pouring this into the mesh uh, bag that's already inside the bucket here and then of course you got to pause at times to fix the bag so it doesn't collapse in there try again and it actually helps to, to do this in smaller batches so I'm not going to pour the entire container in just a good part of it and I'm going to get sit down here and ring and strain this bag out so I bring this up tighten the drawstring and right away there's a lot of juice in there right at the bottom that's that free run juice but you can come here and start squeezing the bag you can give it a, a twist here and there like this and start squeezing it. We're pushing against the side of the, of the container and it just runs in there like that. So just keep at it, wringing it, squeezing it until you get as much juice out of there as you think you can kind of hard to overpress this by hand so some people think if you press too much you'll get uh, astringent or they call it the press runnings I think it's called where it's uh, not as flavorful and more bitter I think or or tannic I guess I, I'm not sure what the term is but but this is not going to be much of an issue by hand squeezing guaranteed so just go ahead and give it all the squeeze you want keep turning it squeezing it There you go, and eventually you get about as much juice out of there as you can squeeze out of there. There's still plenty in there, so you can always come back and give it a shot later. But for now, this this first run is done. I want to get some more in the bag and continue on. Okay, so for posterity's sake, and to let everyone know, including myself, in the future, I have about five and a half gallons. I have a mark here telling me it's the five and a half gallon mark. The wine is right up to this five and a half gallon mark, and that was two cases of grapes 36 pounds a case 72 pounds total two cases about five and a half gallons so it's about two and three quarters gallons per case so just keep that in mind when you're trying to size your uh, aging muscles and here's the final result everyone what i have hit what i have right here is my six and a half gallon carboy filled up above the six and a half gallon mark i got a gallon overflow and about a pint overflow so six and a half plus one gallon seven and a half gallons and a little extra a little over seven and a half gallons there from those three cases so i'm going to let this sit down in the base, my basement and finish settling it's already starting to happen you can see the the uh, leaves starting to fall to the bottom here so i'm going to let that happen over the course of several days or a couple weeks and i'll come back thanks for watching be sure to check out other videos on my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe